Hi there. So I've got one pin in, let one hole drilled, and I've done. I put a pin in there to hold it. Uh, these these felt lines were just to help me when I was uh, getting the wood ready, and uh, you know, every, like I had to move them around a little bit to adjust to, and everything's coming together nicely. Uh, so we're gonna have to keep drilling. So again, um, drill through this side and uh, uh, so I just wanted to show you I've got the pin there but I, I put all the pins in from this side because I'm drilling through but now with this pin in here it's holding it on to the blank and uh, I can keep going, yeah. but I'm you know I'm always watching to make sure I got the wood covered uh, for the next pin, and uh, yes I do make mistakes. So okay. So I've got two pins in it now. Uh, I I can move my clamps around. It's not so. Uh, not so important but you know you can see I've already got uh, I've got two pins in here right through and these two are holding uh, you know this third one I'm uh, pretty much I'm good I can take all the clamps off I've got three pins in there. I can take these other two out and uh, I can drill all the uh, eight, to one eight. I'm actually using a, a decimal 30. And yeah, make sure I bring it in and out the bit. I'm not drilling that fast. There you have it. Uh, I I like a lanyard, and uh, again, uh, um, I, I try to put them in all my knives. Um, but anyway, I got to change the bit for that one. Um, I've got my wood thinned down now, and uh, I'm getting ready to grind the finish this area of the the wood. And uh, the wood I'm using is uh, European walnut, and uh, I got this piece from a friend of mine. He's a gunsmith, and uh, uh, and as well, he's a knife maker in his own right. So, so what I'm doing here is uh, I've got the inside edges together. I've I've drawn on the um, on this side, and and uh, that's my B side. So that's my B side. I've got locator pins in to hold the the two pieces together because I'm I'm going to grind this area together, and that's how I get matching ends. So uh, I put my pins down. They, uh, I just mark it off, uh, kind of run it there, and and it's kind of handy to have the felt pen marks when you go to to grind the edges after the epoxy's on. So I, I'm putting a mark here where I want the edge to end, and I'm putting a mark down here at the bottom where I want it to end. I'm going to go over to the grinder now and. Um, and grind these areas in. Uh, I'm going to put a curve. You see, here's my curve. Now, I, I do a curve, uh, and everybody's a little different. Um, in this area, I've got the wood coming to the edge. I'm probably, you know, I'll bring it down nice and tight. 
but there's only so much I can do with a, what, what I'm grinding with the epoxied on the uh, handle so uh, I could have put a, uh, a bolster on it but uh, then every time you do something to the knife you, you, it takes more time and uh, it makes it more expensive this is going to be a beautiful nice it'd be very simple nice wood handle uh, the pattern is going to be great uh, you know this is tough wood uh, I use a, an epoxy that takes uh, 18 hours to dry and um, now it's going to be great it's going to be a great night so I took it over to the grinder and um, um, took down the uh, all the excess wall in the front and I used a uh, 36 grit belt to get it here it uh, I tried with an, uh, an 80 grit you know I had to use 80 and I just wasn't cutting it it was just it was a lot a lot of work and sometimes you know that's what you got to do you just change the belt go to a brand new belt and uh, you know you like to save money and but in this case uh, that's the way to do her so um, um, so again, one side's A, one side's B. You put the B to the, you put the B together, right? And uh, you can start to see how things are going to go together, right? So B, okay, B up on top, and then I put my locator pins in again, and. Um, get an idea of how close I'm getting and I got a choice to make um, I've already finished this part of the the, the knife and this part um, so I've got to decide how tight do I want to bring that in there uh, do I want to leave the wood just flush or do I want to bring it in a little bit uh, shy okay or have the metal proud okay so Anyway, um, I'll uh, get going. It's getting pretty close. You know, I, uh, again, I went to 80, and then I went to a 120 belt, and uh, I went to a brand new um, 220. Uh, and, and when I'm working with the walnut, I gotta go slow, and I, I've gotta wet it a little bit, and, uh, so I don't uh, burn it so you can kind of see it there um, so let's just see how this is starting to look so there's the B side and I'll put my locator pins in and, and when I'm doing this um, in case I haven't mentioned it I, I put locator pins through my uh, my pinholes and uh, that way I line up my uh, the uh, holster area of the knife right so uh, so here we go we put a pin there and they don't have to go that deep just pull them in and, and they're tight and uh, so you can see how things are progressing right uh, it, the the uh, I'm right there now I can take that right down uh, I can put a I can put a pencil mark on it but that doesn't do me much good because uh, that's on the inside so I've got to take the knife and I have to put the B side down and the B side so it's up on top so so I'll do that and uh, put a pin in, put another pin in, and I can put a pencil mark there, right? And uh, we're pretty good there, but we can, I can come, I can still come in here, and that way when you're at the wood, you'll feel the wood, and then you can feel the grip. So. so. That's about it for now. I'll go back and uh, I'll probably put the 120 belt back on.
well, I might do it with the 220. And uh, I'll finish up with a 400 after I measure it again. Thanks for watching.